Here's zebrafish, easy to keep and easy to maintain, at home in many aquariums all over the world. These fish, however, swim in very different waters, in the Max Planck Institute for Developmental Biology in Tübingen. The zebrafish is making great waves in biological research. It has become one of the best studied species in the world. But what do scientists find so alluring about such small fry? The objective of zebrafish research is to understand how genes control development, the way in which genes control how a fertilized egg cell is transformed into a fully functional organism. This is basic research. But we also study zebrafish in order to discover how certain defects in genes lead to hereditary diseases. Diseases that are passed on from one generation to the next. And this is why we begin our research with genetic cross-experiments. A male and a female zebrafish in the breeding pool. These two are spending one night together in the same water. The next morning, the female lays up to 400 eggs. But not all the fish eggs are fertilized. Therefore, the unfertilized eggs have to be removed. The fertilized eggs, 25 per dish, are put in the incubator, where they evolve into fish larvae. Another great advantage of zebrafish is that they develop incredibly quickly. The development from fertilization to free-swimming small fish looking for its own food takes only five days. Processes that last for days in human beings take only a few hours in the fish. This is a great advantage for researchers. In fast motion, the embryogenesis of the zebrafish, from fertilized egg to embryo. After only 24 hours, all important organs are developed. On the third day, the fish larvae hatch. In its early development phase, the zebrafish is translucent, so that scientific researchers can see right into its body. They are able to observe how organs are formed and develop, how a neural system develops, how the heart starts beating, and how blood runs through the veins. In short, the perfect model organism, especially if researchers require a large number of individuals for cross-genetic experiments. The laboratory in Tübingen has 7,000 fish tanks, home to 400,000 fish. One third of the fish population takes part in a large-scale screen. The aim is to find mutants, fish with altered genes. To this end, male zebrafish were treated with a chemical that causes small defects in their DNA. Scientific researchers are specifically looking for individuals whose organisms deviate from the norm. In this case, the focus is on the skeletal development of the fish. The fish are tainted with a dye, visualizing their vertebra and cranium. The researcher is looking for distinctive features. Have the cranial bones really evolved properly? And indeed, this fish is different from most of its conspecifics. The bone structure strongly deviates from that of the wild type. It is these mutants which help us to understand diseases of the organ systems. While zebrafish and human beings share little outward resemblance, they are surprisingly similar on a deeper level, the genetic level. Zebrafish are therefore excellent model systems for numerous human diseases. Like the human genome, the sequence of the zebrafish genome has been almost entirely deciphered. This was no easy task since the zebrafish genome is half the size as that of the human genome, approximately 1.5 billion base pairs. To map and identify the genes more easily, researchers use robotics for the sequence analysis. The system helps researchers to isolate the genes which are responsible for a certain mutation.
there is another established method of identifying such genes, the manipulation of zebrafish eggs. Drawn up into the syringe, artificially created fragments of DNA, so-called morpholinos. The morpholinos are injected into the fish eggs. The cell now acts as if a gene is defective or does not exist at all. Researchers are now interested in finding out what defects occur in fish hatched from such eggs. Once a mutation is recognized, researchers can decipher the role usually played by the intact gene. Under the microscope, a live zebrafish. A look into the brain of the fish shows macrophages, engulfing cells. Normally, macrophages devour dead nerve cells. They are important for the brain to function properly. But these macrophages are acting conspicuously. Once again, scientific researchers are able to isolate a gene. Because of its enormous significance and potential, zebrafish research is being funded by the EU in a European-wide project called ZF Models. The research we're carrying out here in the Max Planck Institute is basic research. We hope, however, that our results will help medical research groups to better understand human hereditary diseases and to develop new treatments. For diseases or illnesses such as Parkinson's, cancer, drug addiction or simply jet lag, it is the zebrafish that is showing scientists new methods and strategies. And thus, research of such a small fish is a great catch for mankind. <laughs>